The 2023 Massachusetts Women's Amateur allowed us the opportunity to get familiar with the lone Seth Rayner design in the state, Dedham Country and Polo Club. The Long Island-born architect was a protege of Charles Blair MacDonald, and you really can't talk about one of these figures without mentioning the other. MacDonald was a catalyst for the growth of golf in America. The Chicago native attended St. Andrews University in Scotland in 1872, where he got his first set of clubs from old Tom Morris, fell deeply in love with the game, and competed in matches with Tom Morris Jr. Upon returning stateside from his studies, MacDonald was dismayed by the absence of golf. In 1892, he organized the Chicago Golf Club, the first formal 18-hole course in America, which became one of the five founding clubs of the USGA. In 1902, MacDonald returned to the British Isles to study the golf courses. He hoped to build the ideal golf course in America, which would feature adaptations of what he considered the best holes in the world. This project would bring about the template hole, reliably great hole designs that could be built on different types of land. MacDonald believed that these designs were akin to great art that persists through history. In his book, he quoted landscape architect Prince Puckler, Time is not able to bring forth new truths, but only an unfolding of timeless truths. And this really distills the idea of the template hole. MacDonald hired Rayner to work on the National Golf Links of America, and though Rayner was largely unfamiliar with the game, MacDonald was impressed by Rayner's aptitude. He wrote of Rayner, he scarcely knew a golf ball from a tennis ball when we first met, and although he never became much of an expert in playing golf, the facility with which he absorbed the feeling which animates old and enthusiastic golfers to the manner born was truly amazing, eventually qualifying him to discriminate between a really fine hole and an indifferent one. Rayner took the template concept and ran with it. Becoming a prolific course architect in his own right, he designed approximately 85 golf courses in only 13 years. Without further ado, let's take a look at the templates of his lone track in the Commonwealth. There is no singular inspiration for the plateau or double plateau template, but it was a concept that Rayner and McDonald both relied on heavily. These holes often included a principal's nose set of bunkers in the fairway short of the green, which isn't quite possible with the water hazard in front of the green here. However, the front greenside bunkers do bear some resemblance to the principal's nose due to the notch between them. The greenside is itself a plateau, but there's also a sharp ridge running across the front face of the putting surface, complicating sand shots from those big nostrils. Redan is perhaps the most well-known of the templates, and for good reason. They are typically longer par threes challenging the player's long iron game. The ideal landing area is the front right, where a bank kicks the ball onto the green. Typically, there is a punitive bunker on the left side, further encouraging the player to hit the proper shot utilizing the bank. Number 15 at North Barrett Golf Club serves as the inspiration for the Redan. Dedham also features a stunning reverse Redan. The 17th simply mirrors the Redan, with the slope kicking the ball from the front left towards the back right, and bunkering looming on the right side. It was from one of those bunkers that Rebecca Scholar got up and down to seal the 2023 Women's Amateur Championship. Oh, yeah! Cape is an original McDonald template, which was first built at National Golf Links of America. There is some debate about whether the tee shot is part of the template, but the real intrigue is the green. Sometimes the green sticks out over water, but Rayner often used bunkers on three sides in lieu of a water hazard. Perched above the deep bunkers, the green appears to hover precariously. Short? Sure. Short and sweet? Not so much. This widely used template is used to examine a different part of the player's game than the other par 3 types, precision with a wedge. These greens are often severely sloped with plenty of danger lurking should you fail to find the surface. Before Rayner arrived on the scene at Dedham, famed architect Donald Ross was hired to redesign the existing nine holes on property. Rayner liked Ross's par 3 so much that he kept it as it was. Ironically, Ross was decidedly anti-template. In his book, Golf Has Never Failed Me, Ross wrote, But don't let famed holes such as the Alps of Presswick and Redan of North Berwick lead you into attempting to reproduce them. In trying to make your course fit certain famous hole treatments, you are certain to be doomed to disappointment. Prize dogleg was a favorite par 5 template of Rainers. A series of bunkers guards the meat of the dogleg, where you'd want to land your tee ball. The bunkers force an uncomfortable choice, play it out to the left in the wider landing area, or cut the corner on the short side to earn yourself a chance to reach the green in two. 
That's not all. Raynor would also guard the landing area in the layup zone with another imposing bunker, putting it on the player to yet again choose between a safe but longer shot and biting off more yardage while bringing the trap into play. This is truly a hole where the player's strategy should start at the green and work backwards towards the tee. The knoll of the knoll template is the green complex. The green surface sits atop the knoll with sharp drop-offs all around. Running the ball up is not really an option, so the player must be precise with their approach. At Dedham, the front side is shaved, rejecting poorly struck shots and feeding the ball back down the slope, leaving a daunting blind pitch back up the knoll. McDonald based this template on the fourth hole of Scott's Craig in Scotland. Maiden is a green template rather than a routing template. The Maiden Green features plateaus on the back left and back right quadrants, which are separated by a small valley. The variety of pinnable locations makes this a different hole every time you play it. Alps refers to a hole with a large hill or mound in front of the green, which obscures the player's view of not only the green, but usually also a hazard that lurks on the other side to catch shots that come up short of the green. Dedham utilizes an extra long flag stick to give the player a reference point on the hole location, but the rest is truly blind. McDonald based Alps on the 17th at Presswick. Valley simply refers to a hole where the player must drive over a rise and down into a valley before lofting a second shot up to a raised green. Here, flirting with the tree on the left side can make the hole shorter, leaving a more lofted club for the uphill approach. Eden is a par 3 template which typically tests the mid-iron game. The green is pitched severely from back to front, with bunkers guarding the front, back, and sides. The template is based on the 11th of the old course at St. Andrews, known as High Hole Inn, and named after the River Eden, which runs behind it. The bunker behind the green is Eden, while the dreaded Strath Pot Bunker lurks in front. Punchbowl greens are named for the funnel shape that can cause a great deal of excitement. These green complexes are found all over the British Isles as course designers place greens at the center of mound formations to shelter them from severe winds. The lion's mouth portion of the name at Dedham comes from the bunker indented into the front center of the green. With a front pin, don't find yourself on the wrong side of the lion's mouth. Perhaps the most distinctive of all the templates, the Biarritz green is an homage to the third green at the Biarritz Golf Club in France. If Wes Anderson designed a golf hole, this would be it. French styling, polarizing, symmetrically framed by two large bunkers on each side, and it's whimsical, stretching 60 yards long with a large swale in the middle. Dedham's version even features a large fingerprint front and center, as if there wasn't enough intrigue already. Road hole is a nod to the 17th hole at St. Andrews. Though there's no hotel to contend with off the tee, the green site borrows from the old course. A bunker guards the front corner of the rhombus-shaped green, offering an advantage to those that play their tee shot up the right side. Though players risk running through the green and into the bunker that mimics the path at St. Andrews, which runs up the back side. And that concludes our crash course on Seth Rainer's template holes at Dedham Country and Polo Club. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Rich Rapp from Mass Golf, and I'll see you next time.